100 protesters marched through Pata Vidra to make their voices heard when it comes to racial injustice and police brutality. The protest was part of a much larger movement that's happening all over the U.S. following the Minneapolis police killing of George Floyd. The News for Jacks reporter Eric Avenia is joining us live from Pata Vidra to explain why today's demonstration, Eric, this was different from many of the others we've covered here in Jacksonville. Yes, Kent, very di different. In fact, organizers say they purposely chose to march through Ponte Vedra simply because it's a predominantly white and wealthy community with what they describe as privileged people uh, whom they believe choose to ignore racial injustice simply because it's not their problem. By now, we've all seen the signs that say Black Lives Matter and no justice, no peace, and we've heard the chants over and over again. But this time, the images and sounds of protests against racial injustice and police brutality was not in the inner city of Jacksonville, but rather the quiet, predominantly white community of Ponte Vedra. It's about bringing the message to communities that won't typically care, even if there is justice um, for these cases. I believe that it's be more so being ignored. If it's not my problem, then, um, you know, I'm not going to worry about it. Although the police officers involved in the fatal shootings of George Floyd in Minneapolis and Rashad Brooks in Atlanta are now facing criminal charges, protesters say now is not the time to take their foot off the gas when it comes to demanding justice for African Americans who have suffered as a result of police brutality and civil injustice. I think we need to get the message out. Now is the time to change. This isn't Spirit Week. This isn't Black Lives Matter, you know, for one week. Um, this is a movement, something that needs to continue to happen. Now, today's march remained very peaceful, despite two counter protesters who, according to the sheriff's office, tried to aggravate uh, some of those folks that were marching. But again, very peaceful today. No incidents happened. Reporting live, Eric Avignet, Channel 4, The Local Station.